Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how to set up onboarding for your Discord server. So when you join a Discord server, oftentimes you'll see some welcome text with maybe even some rules and regulations that you need to read and check accept and maybe they even send you to a specific channel on the server. In order to do that and set that up for your Discord server, I'm going to walk you through the entire process. So go ahead and log into your Discord account. Go to your server, and I think it's, you know, I shouldn't have to say this, but you must own or be uh, an admin of the Discord server that you're trying to, you know, change or add the onboarding to. And once we're here, we want to go ahead and go up to our server name in the upper portion of our screen, hit the drop down menu, and go to where you see server settings. You're going to see a gear icon here. Now we're going to be uh, taken to the overview of our server. But if we scroll down and go under community here, we're going to see something that says onboarding. If we click on onboarding here, we're going to be presented with the uh, basically the animation here that says welcome your new members with onboarding. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click the check it out button here. Uh, and it will go ahead and prompt you to start the process to set up the onboarding for your Discord server. Now, the first one is a safety check. You don't need to do anything here. Uh, there's a couple of things here. You'll see permissions, auto mod, raid protection, and captcha. If you want to, you can go and edit these and you can make them uh, active or inactive. But from what I found, I would leave these the same. I wouldn't mess with any of these under the safety check. Just go ahead and click on the blue next button here. Now, step two is what are the channels that every member should have? So choose as many defaults as you need. So members can pick more channels from customization questions and we'll show members any new channels that you make. So go ahead and hit got it. Uh, they're going to kind of bring up these pointers and tips as we go through this process. So you can just click the blue got it button there to kind of get those uh, removed from you there. Now the default channels are going to be seen here. So as you can see, they're going to give you recommended channels that are going to be default channels, but I'm going to go down here and I'm going to give um, them, you know, access to see or view the rules channel as well as the general channel, which is where I want people to come as new members because I have a premium discord server and people that pay get access to it. So I'm only going to allow them to see the text channel that's called general here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the blue next button here. Now, remember, this is going to be the channel uh, where they're able to access or see, right? So these are default channels. So they'll be able to see these in their channel list as a, a person who just joins, right? So go ahead and click the next option here. Next is going to be where we can add questions to help members pick additional channels and roles or abilities to have new roles, right? So go ahead and hit got it there. Uh, and then we're going to have pre-join questions. So the first one is, what do you want to do in this community? And then we can add an answer. So uh, allow multiple answers. We can add an answer here and whether or not we want the answer to be, uh, you know, a full fledged answer. Uh, and then we can assign channels and or roles. Uh, and then you can see here that everyone must have a view permission for channel channels and users and answers and things like that. Once you've added the answer and selected a role, which both, as you can see here in red, uh, are you know required, go ahead and click save. So as you can see here, we now have this question with this answer. We want to add another answer. You just click on add answer and go ahead and add as many answers as you want. Now, when you're ready to add a new question, you can go here and click on add question. So you can click on add a question here and then you can go ahead and enter your own question right under where it says question two. Once you have all the questions that you want to add for people when they join, you can click and hold this box here and drag the questions that you may want to be first, right? So how did you hear about our community? Maybe I want that one to be up top. I'll click and hold and drag that up top. You can always minimize these by clicking these arrows here. And if you ever do a question and you're like, I don't want that in there, you can click the trash can that says delete this question. So again, once we're done adding pre-join questions, we can also add post-join questions. So uh, members will be asked these questions after they join your server uh, on the channels and roles page. Uh, so we can add questions for post-join as well. If that's something that you want to do, you can go through and add questions just like we did for pre-join. Once you're ready to go, click the blue next button here. Next is going to be set up your server guide. So try making sure that all your get started items are actionable and we've added a read the rules task so you don't have to. So click got it there uh, and then we can add a couple of things. So under the getting started, as you can see here, it's going to show you what it looks like. 
Um, we can have a welcome sign. So tell new members what's special about your community and why you're excited to see them. So we click on set up a welcome sign here and we can select uh, basically members that have permissions to manage the, the kind of the guild and the roles. I'm going to choose myself and then we can have a, a basically a welcome message here. The welcome message needs to say hi at username and it tells you to put it in brackets. So whenever that person is seeing this welcome message, it'll put their username there. And then it says, you know, whatever you want your welcome message to be, thanking them for showing interest and telling them what this place is and what to expect as a part of this community. Once you're done here and you have the message author as well as the message, go ahead and click the blue save button. This is going to be your welcome sign. Then we're going to have new member to do's. So these are going to be tasks that you want new members to do. So you want them to go and see, you know, what the rules and regulations are. So here's one right here, read the rules and then don't do this. So it's telling you what not to do, like chat with community. Like the first thing is to read the rules. Now, the next thing I want them to do is I want to add a task. And then right here you see what should the new member do and where should they do it? And the next thing you want to do for these tasks is you want to add a custom thumbnail. So it says it needs to be 72 by 72 minimum, one by one aspect ratio, either a PNG or a JPEG file. I just went to Canva and designed one for, you know, my Discord server. So if you want to, you can do that. But go here, click on this little icon, go to upload icon, and then select the one you want to use and either double click or click open. And then when you're ready, go ahead and click the blue save button. And as you can see, we now have another task. So we have read the rules and then we have this task here. Again, if you want to rearrange these tasks, you can click and hold and drag them, you know, above or below. So read the rules will always be at the bottom. And if you need to edit one, you can always click the blue pencil icon and it takes you back where you can go and either remove it or edit that there. Now, again, this is going to show us an example of what this looks like. Now, a resource page is going to be, uh, you know, turn this to a read only. So basically you have a resource page. So if it's like for me, a podcast, I might want to have a podcast link or a rules and regulations. So what I would want to do is I want to go ahead and add some resources. So go to uh, add a resource here and I want to select the resource channel. So the resource is going to be rules. I want that to be rules and then give this resource a name. So for this one, it's going to be rules and then give this resource a description. And if you want to, you can always have a custom thumbnail. You can design that at Canva or however you want to do that. Just click the upload button here and then choose kind of what you want it to look like. We'll go ahead and go to save there. As you can see, I have a nice little resource. You can add as many as you want. And when you add them, you can click and hold and drag them around and put them in the order that you want. Next is going to be a server guide banner. This is for, uh, you know, if you want to add a banner. So you can, the recommended size is 1920 by 480, but the only way you can do this is unlock it with boosting. So if you click that there, uh, you can go to boost this server uh, and that actually costs money. So you either have to have Nitro to boost or someone has to boost your server. So you may not have access to that, but if you want that, you can always unlock that. And it's basically like a subscription that you're paying for a couple premium uh, kind of uh, bells and whistles for your server. Once you have added your resources as well as your member to dos, go ahead and click the blue next option here. You should see the word good with a check mark. Now, what I like to do is go ahead and click preview. That way it lets you know kind of what it looks like. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. Here's our questions. How did you hear about our community? We'll answer these questions now to kind of see what we want. This is kind of where people are going to see. Here is what it'll look like for specific roles. You can change that with the drop down menu down below here. It'll let them know getting started. I want to add links and information right here. So click on that. It'll take them directly to the channel there. And then you can see here under the getting started, it lets them know this is what you kind of want to do here. So we can click back on that, letting them know, hey, you know, once we, we do this, it, it kind of lets them know where to go, navigate them around the, the channel. So we can click on that here. We can add some messages there. Uh, and letting you know what that looks like. So if we want to go back, go back to onboarding settings here. And when we're ready to go, go to enable onboarding. And as you can see, we have onboarding enabled and you are good to go. We can always see examples and we can always preview by just clicking on preview and it will let you know exactly what it looks like and the questions that are coming up that you can go through. If you ever make changes, you always go back to preview and it lets people know kind of where to go. We have our resources over here to the right. We have our welcome message at the top here. And if we wanted to, we can even add an image up here if we boost or pay for that uh, 
through boosting. So they can go to read the rules here and it shows them and takes them to the rules option there. And that is it. That is how you set up onboarding for your Discord server. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section down below and I will see you guys in the next video.